Hi, my name is Leanne and I'm a lifesaver. I'm a registered respiratory therapist. Um, I work in sleep medicine also. Um, I have four children and I was in the Army for eight years. So initially starting out, you don't really quite have your sleep figured out. Um, obviously being a sleep specialist now, I do know different things to implement in my sleep. Um, I swing from days to nights in the same week. So I go two 12-hour night shifts and then one eight-hour day shift. I do have a couple days off in between, so it kind of gives me time to readjust everything. There are a ton of people that are sleep deprived. Um, truck drivers, shift workers, hospital workers are huge, you know, nurses, doctors, and a lot of them are going on more than just one shift. A lot of people that are sleep deprived do not know they're sleep deprived. Um, that's the first thing. Usually it's a spouse or somebody else that brings it up, whether it be irritability, they're irritable all the time, or they find that they're sleeping in front of a TV, you know, dozing off watching TV, you know, like within two minutes of sitting down. Um, but a lot of people don't understand it themselves. The ones that are chronically fatigued feel like they've got a cloud on their shoulders or they're walking through fog. They're constantly that way. In my field, I've seen um, things like high blood pressure is huge because your body's stressed out. It can't relax. Your brain and the chemicals that you have in your body don't regulate like they're supposed to. Um, along with that, you see a lot of sleep apnea, which also adds to the sleep deprivation. Um, and then you run the risk of stroke, heart attack. My suggestion to help alleviate that is once you've figured out what your schedule is, then start logging how you're sleeping. If you log how you sleep, then you can find the different areas that are bad, and then you can try to tweak them. Some nutritional tips for good sleep are, you definitely want to avoid caffeine six hours prior to bed. Um, stay on your normal diet that you would during the day, just implement it at night. And you're gonna to wanna to stay away from sugar because it'll um, make you crash after a half hour. Napping is not good. Um, if you do have to nap and you absolutely feel like you have to nap, minimize it to 20 minutes. 20 minutes to a half hour, don't go over that. Make sure you set alarms. Um, napping will throw off your natural circadian rhythm and it's gonna make you not wanna sleep when you need to finally go to sleep, um, which then turns into insomnia, where you don't sleep. So um, always, I always recommend, if you feel like you're not controlling your own sleep and you're having troubles with it, sleep patterns, it's not a bad thing to go to your primary and ask for a sleep referral. Sleep doctors help more than just sleep apnea. They help with all sleep patterns. To be a lifesaver, you wanna take control of your own life and empower yourself, get your eight hours of sleep. It's highly important for life function. I know everybody's story is different, but I went from going to school during the day, working night shift at night with four kids, three in diapers, so, and I managed to get sleep. So anybody can do it. You just gotta empower yourself to do it.